Max Your Journey Tribe, what's going on? My name is Alvin and I love the energy today. Today you came here because you wanted to learn about how to fix your RV cable, how to maintenance it, or how to save yourself time and money by doing your own maintenance on your RV. Today I have a 2020 Sunset Trail 289QB and I had an issue with my cable and I cried about it. Today I'm doing something about it and I'm spreading that knowledge to you so you can do it. Save yourself some time and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Stay tuned. You want to see how I solve this issue. Here goes nothing in case you didn't know. Max Your Journey Tribe, RV community, what's going on? Today we are talking about the slide cable adjustments. This is a Sunset Trail, a 2020 289QB, but I'm pretty sure this applies to all cable slides. You may have your own opinion whether it's a good system or not. I'm letting you know this is a pretty easy fix, even though it might blow your mind. My cables, if you haven't seen in that one video where I was complaining and whining, you might wanna check it out. They were real saggy. After some research, you can see this cable right up here is not supposed to be like that. Very easy fix. I took off one side just to demonstrate already. This side is still on, but I do have the screws out. It looks like it has uh, three on each side and you have your center cap in the middle. And then right here you have your little gear just in case you need to change that out. Now you might be noticing these uh, little pieces right here has a bottom and a top, and they're upside down or backwards, whatever way you wanna look at it. That is the correct way. This bottom means this cable runs all the way down around that pulley system, and it goes to the bottom. This top goes all the way down, and it actually goes to the top uh, of the system. And you're gonna notice that again here. This is the outside one, um, and it says, it says bottom and top and it also says in but this runs for the outside cable runs down this pulley system and it runs back behind here and goes outside and all the way down that wall and it pulls this slide in um the easiest way to do this is to have your slide all the way out that way you can work right up close to it because this is attached to the actual wall of your rv or camper so you want to have it all the way pushed up so you can get that maximum space and you want to take this front panel off. Very easy. So you might notice these foam blocks, they're silencers. So when you move the slide in and out and you want to have those on, I don't have to do any adjustments on this one. As you can see, this is tight, if not maybe too tight. Now, the only thing with these is you want to make sure they're not turned backwards. So when it slides it can catch on the other cable and eventually fray it. You wanna make sure these are parallel with you, facing like this. And there's some more that go all the way down. You just wanna check and make sure they're parallel as well. And they are, and I have shown that in my other video um, where I'm looking up here and inspecting it and crying about the issue instead of fixing it. So today, I wanna to get me a socket. If you do have a speed wrench, that will work better and you wanna go right on it. For me, I'm gonna go right on this, uh, this right here, and I'm gonna tighten this up and hopefully take the slack out of this line. Let's see. All right, guys, so, so far, I have um, my two wrenches here. I'm using 3 8 and 7 16 I'm using uh, 3 8 on these uh right here and adjusting them and then the 7 16th i'm using on the center now the center will adjust both cables at the same time pulling them in and then the outside one will adjust its individual cable but you can already see the difference from me doing that now you see it it's propped up it's not sagging as much it is sagging but now it has that better bounce to it like it's actually on there so i'm going to continue doing that give it a couple more turns and then we'll see what it looks like all right, Max Your Journey RV community. I have tightened up these uh, lugs uh, on here. As you can see before, when I was standing back here, 
you couldn't even see that one sitting up there. It was tucked in so far. Plus the wire, like I said. So it isn't terrible. It is tight now. We have less play. But if you also reference my other video, I want to take you outside real quick and then show you how the slack from the outside has changed also. Okay, so if you remember, this is where it all started in that other video. I have the thumbnail or at least tag it above. Now you can see that this cable is not being played out too bad anymore. It's actually just a little bit bouncy and that is perfectly fine. It's allowed to be that way. Um, so you can adjust. Same thing here. They're allowed to have a little play to them. You want that. You don't want them too tight to get frayed. So. All right, guys. So that minor adjustment fixed the cables. You can either fix the middle uh, bolt like I was showing you, whatever it's called. You can fix the middle or the two outside ones adjust each cable. That minor adjustment didn't only save me time because it only took me 30 minutes but it saved me tons of money. And that's what I wanna do for you guys. That's what I like doing is saving my money. If you call a dealership and get a quote, you're probably talking three, four, five hundred dollars $500, maybe even more. So this should save you time and money, but also now you have the knowledge to do it or adjust it yourself. You don't have to worry about those warranties and you don't have to waste your time. Do it right. Make sure you put those silencers back on there and uh, make sure those cables have that tightness, but give it a little teeny play. You can always adjust them now. So I thank you guys for watching, hitting that subscribe button, and growing your knowledge with me, Max Your Journey Tribe. I hope to see you next time. My name is Alvin.